Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everyone to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to start making our way to Diamond City. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we're going to take a right and then a quick left. We're going to pick up a few magazines before we make our way all the way to Diamond City. This is the first stop that we're going to make. This is the wreck of the SS Riptide, I think it is, right? Yeah. The USS Riptide. My bad, I forgot the U. Let's try to be a little sneaky. I doubt we'll be able to. We're a little bit sneaky. Oh, I hear a radio already. I hear a radio. The bane of my existence. Fallout's radios. If I talk loud enough, maybe I can drown out the sound. The music. The... Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Raider there. <laughs> uh, so concentrated on the uh, radio. I didn't realize there was a raider. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the Wasteland Survival Guide. Perfect. And then we'll grab some jet. We're going to use our pipe pistol for a little bit here. There's a couple more raiders over here. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty sure there is. Yeah, exactly. There he is. Time to reel him in. Nope, right there. Get the dog, yeah. Sorry, bud. You were not a very. What? <laughs> oh, wow, I thought I killed him. There we go. Now he's dead. Since we're up here, let's go ahead and grab this buff out and gumdrops. Dog meat, come on now. Don't start. The video just started. Uh. Oh, what was that? Combat chest piece? Yeah, we can take that. By the way, um, just to forewarn everybody, in the next episode, you're going to need a Nuka-Cola, just a regular Nuka-Cola, and a Bloatfly Gland. Let's unlock this ammo, bleh, this ammo box. Nice. Not really worth it, but whatever. Oh, right here. Submachine gun. I believe that's always there, too. Now we need to start making our way towards... Um, shit. What the hell is that place called? Oh, well. It's another bandit, like, encampment. We can stand up and walk now. I don't know why I was still crouched. <laughs> I was crouched for no reason. No reason at all. Gonna take a left here. And then once we get towards the trailer right over here, we're gonna crouch again because we're gonna have bandits or raiders or whatever you wanna call them. They're the same thing. Bandits, raiders. I don't know why I keep calling them bandits. Don't ask me. It's beyond me. I'm beyond help. 
I'm beyond sanity. There we go. Come on out. I'll make Nice. Ah! All right. Well, we killed all the raiders. Not bandits. The raiders. Backstreet Apparel. I know all these places. I don't know why. I just cannot remember their names. Usually I'm pretty good about that. But I guess not of late. Let's go through this door, and I'll see everybody on the other side. That was a good one. Do you have any more stories Hearing like shit. that? I found hell yeah! Wow, oh, okay. I was hoping for us to listen to a story, but they... Wow. All right. <laughs> Everything that could have went wrong just went wrong. Oh, pff, I just shot dog meat. That's awesome. It's all your fault, dog meat. Aw, oh, man, come back! <laughs> well, this is the worst case scenario, by the way. Is coming in here, crouched, shouldn't have been seen, but got seen. <laughs> yeah. Dog meat, you're just gonna have to sit there, bud. Sorry. Still kicking? Jesus. Shit! Think somebody threw a grenade? Maybe. Where'd that little fucker go? Ah! Oh! Stubborn. I'll get. There we go. Uh, dog meat, please move. They're probably just going to walk around and be like, oh, I guess nobody's here anymore. So we'll continue looting. Shit. Lost him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's go and pick the lock on the safe. Yes. And then we're going to hack this terminal because we can. Yeah, that you should be. Now that we have the safe no sign of them hacked. Now. Let's like grab it. all this Come on, stuff. It's over. They must have run off. You can relax. I'll fucking relax when I'm ready to fucking relax. You got it? I got it. I got it. Jesus. Why are you always in such a bad mood? That's why I'm still alive. And since I've got to lie on your sorry ass to watch my back, that's why I'm trying to keep you alive, too. Enough yapping already. Somebody could be sneaking up on us right now. Whatever you say, boss. What the fuck was that? Nice. <laughs> well, at least that went better. <laughs> he was right, though. Somebody was sneaking up behind him. When you turn up, you're dead. Is that right? I beg to differ, ma'am. Madam. <laughs> Let's grab the cap stash here. Then the stim pack. Um, we could sleep here if we wanted. It, it doesn't matter. And yeah. What we really came in here for Bingo. is the grognak. Let's lock pick this safe. It is a master, but um, my lock picking skill is all the way up. Well, almost all the way up. Pretty much. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's uh, lock pick the safe. Sweet. There we go. We'll just take everything out of there. And then we'll go to the top, grab a few things, and then jump off the uh, top of the building. Ooh, it's already daylight. Grab the um, mines and stuff in here. Grenades and shit. Jump over this railing. Be careful. You don't want to jump all the way down. You will hurt yourself. Kind of slowly go down. And then we can stand back up. Oh, what? This truck blew up? 
I don't remember it blowing up. It's interesting. Unless it blew up while we were inside uh, the building or something. Which is weird. Go up top here. We're going to have some super mutants, by the way, so be prepared. That's why I'm not putting my 10 millimeter pistol away. We'll stay hidden. The super mutants should be all in here. Looks like they killed the personnel. Yep. They're laying dead right over there. The mutants are right. What? Who's there? What? Out there. There's one Somewhere. of them. Oh, there's another one. You can't hide. Another one. <laughs> Any more? Oh, more. Oh, just dogs. Another dog. There we go. <laughs> Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's how it's done. All this stuff over here is lootable, by the way. I'm just not going to waste my time doing it. And it's really not wasting time because, you know, you can never have enough ammunition and you need to just stuff in uh, Fallout. So, I mean, do take the time to loot. And I know I say that a lot, but it's only going to help you. For now, let's go ahead and go into the Fen Sewers. I'll see everybody in just a second. And this is the Finn sewer system. We're actually going to have quite a few hollow tapes in here. So, yeah, I probably won't be commentating too much. Let's go ahead and listen to the first hollow tape. Here we are, detective. If you followed my instructions, you're alone. And well, if you aren't, I've already left. Come on in. I've put my work on display down here, and I'd very much like you to see it. Yeah, so we're listening to the hollow tapes of a serial killer and him trying to lure in a detective. To be honest, I don't know if the detective actually went and sought out the serial killer or what. I don't think it ever completes the story. You know, it's kind of up to your imagination or interpretation. Let's go ahead and listen to the next hollow tape. I want you to appreciate your surroundings, detective. I can only be myself in a place like this. Life up there is exhausting. Every day you smile at people who don't care about you one way or another because that is what you do. Down here, I really get to live. I'm happy to share it with you today, detective. That's hollow tape two. Oh, wow. That is a beast sniper rifle. I might actually use that. By the way, there's a bloat fly gland if you're needing one still. Like I said, don't forget to pick up a Nuka Cola and a bloat fly gland. Over here is just some stuff you can loot. I'm not going to loot it. I just want to show that you could come over here. There's going to be quite a few ghouls over here. But they're really not that big of a deal. Um, hello? Really? 
Okay. <laughs> Just smack him in the head. Did I ever put that level in? I did not. Let's go do that now. Let's put it into Gunslinger. Might as well. Probably end up, like I said last video, probably end up uh, maxing out or whatever Gunslinger first. I am getting so anxious about our <laughs> detective. You know, I think I have only ever wanted someone to know me. And really, I can't think of anyone who knows me as well as you do. I am your object of fascination, and you have become mine. It's humbling, detective. Some Silence of the Lamb shit right there. Let's uh put some stuff in dog meat real quick, because I am over cucumbered. Yo, psst. Dog meat can't carry anymore either. <laughs> I dumped so much shit into him. Grab some more skulls over here. This is a sweet place to grab a bunch of skulls. If you're trying to build uh stuff that needs skulls in your um, settlement... I'm not sure how long it takes before all this stuff respawns, but eventually it does respawn. And you can just pick all this stuff up again and kill all the enemies. You know, the usual. I'm gonna have some more ghouls. One's gonna crawl out of the underneath the stairs here. Then there's one up here. Huh? Not anymore. <laughs> Fell down in front of me. Oh, wow. He was a legendary. Oh, nice. That's actually a really good legendary. Damn, I picked up quite a few good legendaries. Almost dead. There he goes. Now let's put on some Radix. We'll loot his body. And then come over here. Grab this. Grab some Rat away. We're almost done. We got one more hollow tape to listen to, but most importantly, we get tumblers today. Nice. We'll listen to the hollow tape last. First, I want to unlock this safe. So let's do that now. Yes. Mm, just grab everything in here. Now let's listen to the last hollow tape and then we'll uh, get the hell up out of here. I didn't want to hurt you, detective. I didn't want to hurt you. But you, you hurt me first. Now I know you. And I forgive you, Detective. It doesn't matter anymore. Now, you're here with me. <laughs> and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. <laughs> what a fucking creep. Now let's get out of here and actually go to Diamond City. I'll see everybody in just a second. What? It's gonna be a good fight. Oh damn, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love doing that. That never ceases to amuse me man that sucks they uh, this is like the third time or no not third time second time that something's seen me immediately after coming through a, a doorway 
Let's just get out of here. I don't really want to fight the super mutants. I want to get to Diamond City. Plus, I mean, the guards can take care of the super mutants, right? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City, what is it? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Oh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. 
What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. A lot of people hate on Piper, but she is like one of my favorite companions. No joke. Head on inside. Hmm. Hey. Wonder who that could be. I won't spoil it. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Like taking caps from a baby. <laughs> uh, let's get inside Diamond City. You're back. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. <laughs> Whatever you say, Nat. Let's go inside Piper's the house. Spying on your home? Read the public to find out. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Oh, uh, where are you at? Oh, wow. <laughs> Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. 
for the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Let's actually uh, recruit Piper. I'm gonna keep her with me as a companion for a little bit. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. <laughs> I love how my whole character just turns. <laughs> uh, amazing. Grab some rat away. We don't need any mute fruit. Bobby pens. All right, we pretty much looted anything that is worth looting in here. Let's go out this way, and then we're going to end the video. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and public citizens. Here. Pull the wool out from but under home. your eyes. Okay, everybody. This is where we're going to end the video. With an awesome view of the Diamond City kind of logo, I suppose. <laughs> With that all being said, I want to tell everybody, like always, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. And also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.